Sorry, buddy. I pressed the wrong button there. Oops. Got, I was trying to adjust the light. Anyway, back to number nine, uh, question number nine. It says, find the derivative of this function. Y equals x to the power of 5 pi. Here we have a coefficient of an exponent of on a variable we need. So we have to get those down. So we take the ln of both sides. So this exponent comes out in front. So we have ln y, 5 pi, ln x. All right, now we take the derivative of both sides. The derivative of ln y, the derivative of y is dy dx over y. The coefficient even alone. The derivative of ln x is 1 over x. Which is dy dx is over 1, so it's 1 over y, 5 pi over x. I just took the bottom, since it's a fraction over fraction, took the bottom and flipped it. Now I multiply both sides by y. So dy dx is equal to 5 pi y over x. But what is y? y is our original equation, which is x to the 5 to the 5 pi. So whenever you divide by it, I could bring this one up. X to the power 5 pi minus 1. Because I'm subtracting 1 from the list. So that's my derivative. X 5 pi minus 1. That's my derivative. Switch. 5 pi x to the 5 pi minus 1. Type it exactly in terms of pi, yeah, so it has to have pi in there. And number 10, the last one. Find the derivative of y with respect to x. So we have y equals log base 2 of x plus log base 2 of x to the fourth. Again, you can't have exponents, so that comes out in front. So we have log base 2 of x plus 4 log base 2 of x's which means we have 1 here and 4 here so we have 5 log base 2 of x but that's not the derivative here is the rule for whenever you have log base a of x the derivative is so it's the natural log of x which is 1 over x over the constant natural log of a so here's a derivative leading coefficient stays alone so on, on top goes the derivative of what's inside so derivative of x is 1 and then the whatever here goes on the bottom times ln of the base. 
So five times one is five x ln two, and there's your answer. All right, I hope that helps. We'll finish up the next section.